Welcome to this week's sermon recap. Since I talked about unlocking the mystery of marriage, I have my lovely wife Lana with me. We're going to do this together. And as you listen to the message, Lana, what were what were some of the points that st stood out in your mind that you'd like to kind of maybe add something to? Well, if I could add anything, Gary, I just um, in really appreciated your encouragement for people to be real because marriage is something that we all struggle with. Nobody has a perfect marriage. But I like that you unlocked the mystery mm -hmm. for me because really the two words that you used to illustrate uh, marriage was submission and service. And so that was really um, encouragement to me that the mystery can be solved quite easily in that it's just by submitting ourselves to God and by serving each other. Um, I think it's amazing when you said that marriage is a place where we can demonstrate the gospel, that through our relationship, we have a chance to show other people God's love for them as we're demonstrating our love for each other. And so, you know, one of the things you said was that uh, the biggest battle or the biggest struggle is really selfishness. It's easy to be selfish, and we always want our way. We always do I, things. I have to say, though, I'm more selfish than she is. No. And uh, she's a lot more given, which women, women tend to be. And I think that's what we're going to be talking about in future sermons, that a man must love his wife like his own body. And... I see in myself when I'm angry mm. with her or when I'm like, why did you do this? Or why did you think that? Oftentimes it's rooted in my own selfishness. Mm. And when I talk about the mystery of the gospel, Paul was talking about as we grow in this relationship with Jesus, uh, we discover more and more about him, but it's through humility. Mm. Uh, it says it in James and 1 Peter, he says he resists the proud but gives more grace to the humble. I liked the point that you made about marriage being like a mirror and being able to really see who we are. Um, you brought out that story about, you know, the act of celibacy and how people thought they would become spiritual if they withdrew from people and they got alone with God, they'd become more like God. But really, marriage is the testing ground for how godly or ungodly we really are. And I've learned about a lot about myself uh, by our struggles. And Every through. time I aggravate her, it gives her a chance to see the grace of God in her life, and the same with me. And I yeah. see that, and I sometimes I want her just just... Be quiet or don't say that. Or why do you have to, uh, uh, as we say in uh, Romanian, uh, put a put a stick in our wheels, right? And yeah. stop me from going where I'm going. And But if I was, you know, if I would just go on and ignore my wife, she'd become angry, she'd become bitter. We're one. We're going to be talking about that as we unlock these mysteries of marriage. And so what I meant by that, Marriage is a place where you grow as Christians. You grow as you face tension. Tension is a place where you're either going to trust God or, or instead, or look to to God to help us, and where we pray. And I think part of that also I mentioned is not looking to our spouse for all the answers. And I talked about one of those false ideas of marriage. Right? He's going to save me. He's going to rescue me. Well. I'm a sinner. I'm not going to rescue her. She's a sinner, uh, a lot less sinner than I am, I'd have to say. But we we grow with each other. We're both flawed people. And we now, you know, you have the dating relationship and you think about the day of marriage and you're all excited. And then reality is you both live together. Then you realize how different you are and how many, how you've grown up with different ideas and and different thoughts and maybe eat different foods and different family traditions or different ways of reacting. And so you have to work through those things. Well, thank you for revealing <laughs> the mystery of marriage for me. Well, good. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs>
And uh, we're continuing our study next Sunday, 1030 at Faith Baptist Church, unlocking the mystery of marriage. We're going to be talking about what marriage is. And I think it's going to very it's going to be very helpful for us to understand what is marriage? What are the key elements of marriage? How can you have a marriage that's going to last? We're going to be married how many years in 34. May? 34 years. That seems like forever. Uh, I can remember when I was young and people were married 10 years or 15 years. I was like, wow, we're married 34 years. And I have to say, I love you more today than ever. And that's through discovering the mystery of marriage, through growing, growing close to Jesus. So looking forward to seeing you this Sunday as we continue this series, Unlocking the Mystery of Marriage. Hope you join us. You're going to give me a kiss?